We are heading to Georgia. I feel like it's a pretty familiar route and we're getting the night train. They're always so grand, aren't they? The capital cities of the ex-Soviet Union love a grand train station. This is one of the smallest trains I've ever seen. It's literally so empty. Well, this is fancy. Now it's time for the ultimate room tour. Still no bedding. But now I need to go to bed. Good morning guys from Yerevan, Armenia. That is going to be one of the last times or the last time that I actually say that. Our time in Armenia is nearly coming to an end. We finished up in the Sunik region and came back to Yerevan for a couple of days. We checked into the Grace Forum Hotel. When we walked into our room, we had champagne waiting for us. <gasps> what a lovely surprise. <laughs> Ganads. Ganads. Champagne and a nice delivery on the way. And then we were told that we have use of the spa. So there is a sauna and a hammam downstairs, which was amazing. This is so needed. I mean, I won't even need to go to Egypt anymore. I'm feeling very refreshed. But today is the day that we leave Armenia after, I would say, probably around a month. Uh, it has been so good exploring from the top to the bottom and we are heading to Georgia. I feel like it's a pretty familiar route and we're getting the night train. We were a little bit surprised yesterday. We headed to the train station to pick up our tickets and the tickets for a third class carriage was more expensive or a very similar price to getting a private taxi. However, we decided to get the train because it's all about the content and you can't not go on a Soviet train while you're here in Armenia. But I should really be showing you where we are staying and I need my ca trusty cameraman. We have a humongous room here and I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? Uh, we have our huge bed. I love this panel in it. feels so royal. The style of this is like a proper spa hotel. Um, huge TV over here. Desks galore. Like, chandeliers. Where do I choose to do my work? The chandeliers, two huge windows. Do you think we'll get a chandelier on the train tonight? Maybe. You Who never knows? know. It, might, it is a Soviet train. Uh, we have huge bathroom. Actually, you know what? it's so messy. Please don't look in there. And then we have a living room. Another TV, they actually left us fruit and as I mentioned the champagne. And then this is bathroom number two. I'm out of breath from walking up and down. Days like this are literally the worst. I've just been pacing back and forth all day because the train isn't until 9, 9.30 this evening. Um, but luckily here at Grace Hotel they have let us check out late, which is perfect. If not, sitting in a lobby all day is like... Honestly, it's like my worst thing about travel, waiting around to head to the new destination. But if you are getting the train, um, which not so many will do, like I said, you can get the private taxi for pretty much cheaper for two of you than the third class on the train. Um, and you also get a bus for a few pounds, a few pounds, a few dollars, a few euros. But you've got to experience these trains. Um, you can't actually book it online. I don't know why we've done it. The hassle involved in this. You can't book it online and you have to go to the station a couple of days before, but obviously it's not gonna sell out because of the prices compared to a private taxi. Um, to get into Georgia, we needed a negative test, so we've done that. COVID test in the middle of nowhere. And for both of us, we booked first class, because again, the diff once you get the train, the difference between third, second, and first class isn't so much. So it was 25,000 Durham each, whereas a taxi would have been about 25,000 on our own, but we're all for the experiences of travel and we've still got another four hours until we get the train. Thank you. Let's do this. And we have made it to the central train station. You know, the only shame about this night train is that it is obviously at night, so it is dark. And we get there about seven in the morning, so it's still gonna be pretty dark 
when we arrive. But from the outside, well, I know we came here yesterday, they're always so grand, aren't they? The capital cities of the ex-Soviet Union love a grand train station. Probably the quietest train station I have ever seen. Even in Lviv, when we got the train at night, it was packed. It's Why the price. I, I feel like we can have an empty train. I feel like we might be the only ones on this. Do you feel like we can choose which cabin we sleep in tonight? They even have a mini art gallery here in the station there is Republic Square and then you've got Ararat. This is, this is fancy. You don't even have to go to an art gallery, just come to the train station. I'm getting told off for filming the art gallery in the station, but I think we're the only train here. This must be, this is ours? This is ours. The only train, platform one, and they are not letting people on yet. I don't think it is 10 to nine. So we've got, we've got 10 minutes and it's only like, this is one of the smallest trains I've ever seen. It's like three, coaches like I said it's so obvious why not many people get it there's like 10 people here waiting for the train one two three yeah literally three carriages and that is the end it's literally so empty uh, English. <laughs> well this is fancy okay thank you whoa this is nice this is really nice this way Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What number are we? Uh, no, I'll go and get the case in a minute. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. Oh wow, we're the only ones on here, Matt. We're literally the only ones in this. But I think we could have gone second. It's but... not even made it up. I think no one's literally booked first class. But they haven't even made the bed. No, we're even the serious? only ones here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I don't think anyone was expected in the first class today. Our room oh, is not set up yet. See if I can get the case away. But I think oh, it'll sort of fit. We are the only ones in here. I'll show you around in a minute. Um, the lady can't speak English, so I don't know if we have any bedding for the night. Now it's time for the ultimate room tour. Um, I don't know where to start, but I will say that I'm pleasantly surprised. I think this is so new. Um, everything's so fresh. We have huge green cushion i like this extremely comfortable a little bit thin if i do say so myself after eating all this armenian food we have a tv i think it looks like it works we're gonna have to test it in a minute it's new might work might not we have hangers i did mention on the last night train we did that i was confused by that but maybe it's a thing light switches we do have two pillows up there but they don't I see them. you want me to get them they don't look like I'll at the moment ones. that's all we've got they look a bit worse for wear Anyway, we have uh, hangers to hang your stuff, and I'm obsessed with this. Doesn't this look like a fancy hotel wooden table? We have plugs. Have plugs we got plugs? Down here. Two yeah. plugs. We got our little blind. Which and then isn't going to see much anyway. On each side, you can plug your headphones in and listen to the radio, I assume. And oh, we have a mirror. Full length mirror, but <laughs> still no bedding. Still no beds. Still no bed in. Oh, oh, thank, thank you. you. Just, yeah, just just <laughs> thank you. Um, pillows up there. So, so, yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank God for that. I honestly thought we were. <laughs> And we've got a dog. Oh, there's a dog on here. Yeah, I didn't think um, we were getting sheets. I thought we were shivering, or even worse, having to cuddle for warmth. Well this is a very different train experience to last time. If you watched the last video you'll notice that uh, I may have made a mistake. Uh, if you haven't seen the video I booked us in the wrong cabins. This time that didn't happen because obviously we oh, came to the railway station. Here. Yeah what? An <gasps> we have a towel. Why do they give you towels? Well, it's really fresh. Yeah everything's really really fresh. I'm assuming you have one for the bottom. This is for the pillow. So you chuck that on there. Thank you. Look at that. It's even colour schemed. The first time Matt has ever made a bed this in his is... life. Oh, it's so complicated. <laughs> oh, and we're off. We are That's off good timing. The, is it 10 hours? The 10 hour journey to Tbilisi. To Tbilisi. Oh, to <laughs> I can't do it. Has started. Um, and I like it. It's really new. I'll show you around the outside as well. You can tell this is. And you've made your first. Unfortunately, bed. I don't think it's a Soviet train. It's a. Yeah. It's a new modern one. They've redone it, or they've re-modernised the so. But I'm confused. Which one's your sheet and which one's your bottom sheet? My next. 
Hello. My next task is to try and get this TV to work. Normally all the trains have a really old TV. There's no chance of working. This is brand new, like, like the whole cabin. And it looks as if it'd be touchscreen, but nothing seems to work. It's either that or the conductor is hiding the controller. We've got this really weird thing as well, look. And then I can climb up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I can't find the controller. It wouldn't be a train journey without some snacks. So, Matt picked these up. What flavour are they? Pepper. Chilli pepper. Chilli pepper lays. Iconic. We picked up Croco. We actually had these, I think, in Romania. On the last train journey, I picked up the Croco, what were they? Like salted pretzel sticks? Pretzel, pretzel. These are crackers. We're definitely going to get dry mouth. And then, Matt got a trio Kit Kat. What the hell is wrong with him? We got two breakfast bars and I did actually get a Kit Kat. Oh my God, this train's bumpy. Are we gonna get any sleep tonight? Probably not because we actually did our research and we believe the border crossing is at 3.30 in the morning, which is basically disastrous like I wanted it to be early didn't you I kind of I actually expected it to be maybe an hour into the journey I mean 3 30 that's like 9 30 to 3 30 it's a long time to be waiting around anxious to know whether you're getting across the border no this is really are you seeing this <laughs> this is look even my body my body is as wide as it you can hold on <laughs> Oh no, now he's going to be breaking the whole blunt train. Look, so that... Why? I don't, I don't think... Hold on. No. I thought no? you might be able to put it into what a duck. What are you doing? The train's moving and I can't keep the camera straight. I thought you might be able to put it into a... Hello? Into a double, which is really annoying that you can't, because basically if you're over six foot, night trains... Someone's smoking. Yeah, someone's smoking. You shouldn't be smoking. But, um... Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, if it's a, yeah, they should be able to put it into a double if you have a, a private room, but you can't. But the border, yeah, so we needed, even though we're double vaccinated, we needed a COVID test. To go into Georgia, the rules are really strange. If you fly, you don't need a COVID test. But if you drive on your own, you need, if like, so if you go over the land border, you need a COVID test. So you could drive on your own, see no one else, you need a COVID test. Get on a plane with 50 other people, don't need a COVID test. A little bit confusing. It is quite noisy but so new even down the end you have hot water and cold water i'm gonna check out the toilet because i have to i am amazed probably the best toilets we have ever had we have a shower we have soap the water the toilet is clean and a big mirror worth the money. So, we so, have a shower. No, we don't. We do? No, we don't. We do. I'm not showering. We it have, doesn't matter. I'm not showering that's anyway. That's why you have a towel, because we have... A Ex huh? <laughs> what, what, what am I drying with that? What, what, what am I drying with that? Absolutely <laughs> nothing. It would, like, it wouldn't dry you know? Oh my <laughs> god, no, it's a very new shower. Mm -hmm. Nice shower, and you remember you couldn't work out the water on the other one. We have a proper tap this time. Yeah, a proper tap, that is good. Um, and there's hot water and whatever, so you can bring your noodles, coffee, tea, tea noodles, coffee. can make all of that up. Um, still quite a long way to the border. Uh, a few more hours, and I, I don't think I'm sleeping. I've figured out. Are you out. even tired yet? Mm, a little bit, but I'm, I'm way too tall. I can't. <laughs> I keep trying, but look. This is so funny, look at this. Side. Right? There's his head. How am I, actually, that might work. Ready? And he hangs up, <laughs> you hang up the edge. That was relatively, relatively easy. I was a little bit anxious being that it was our first ever border crossing on a train, but we have not crossed the border yet. We have been checked out and stamped out of Armenia. I think in a minute, we're we starting to go gonna go and then we're gonna cross the border in to Georgia but they're very nice that was fun well that was an unexpected turn of events and I'd love to say that it was a seamless border crossing but unfortunately it is 5 
31 and we uh two hours we haven't even left the border for georgia but we have been stamped we had to actually get off in the freezing cold at five o'clock in the morning um and have our passports checked our vaccine checked our pcr test checked until we finally got stamped and we're back on they came on and checked our suitcase i had to take everything out of the suitcase and it was just crazy but now i need to go to bed good morning after about an hour's sleep because we were waiting for the border and then two hours at the border we have made it to Oh, I think we've made it to Tbilisi. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Um, the sun is rising. It's like seven in the morning. Um, it was good, it was good fun. But get me to my hotel. I don't think I have ever been this tired. Oh my God, look at that. There's a little fancy screen thing there. Um, yeah, honestly, don't think I've ever been this tired. That was a very unique journey, I would say, and a unique waiting time. There is the hot and cold water. Does it work? Yeah, I think so. Oh my God. It works. <laughs> I nearly got locked in then. I would be stuck in the train forever, but we have made it to Tbilisi. Now all we have to do is work out how we can get a taxi. Sunglasses on, that's the trick. We made it, just. Station Wi-Fi is a lifesaver. Get me to bed. Oh, we've made it. Finally made it to the hotel. Wow, city looks great by the way, but I'm not exploring it today. Is it possible to feel sick after having the worst night's sleep ever? So, this is where I'm gonna be. Oh, that is a nice bed. 